But let's go out uh, this way here. There we go. I always forget where the door is. Oh, an airplane flying over. Where's an airplane? Oh, there it is. Wow, directly overhead. Hopefully it's not a dive bomber. Wow, look at that. All right, very cool. Let's head down to the work deck, and let's see how they're doing down here. All right, everything is looking good. I wish we could do some of this ourselves. We used to on the old boat. Now I just feel... Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to port here in Fishing Barents Sea. We're going to say goodbye to the little dino fishing vessel that we've used and loved so much. So we're going to upgrade now to a bigger, better ship. We're going to do some netting, and it's going to be awesome. So if you want to see more of this series, go ahead and hit that like button. Get her up to 1,000 likes. If you'd like to see a full playthrough on this one and have me keep going, let me know. Welcome aboard, everyone. Good to have you all here. We're going to now sell this ship, or at least put her on uh, maybe dry dock for a little while, and upgrade to a new, bigger, better ship. So, And uh, we also have an employee with us, too, that we can use in our new ship. And it should be a ton of fun. This ship made us a ton of money, by the way. I paid off all my loans and everything's good. So let's get to uh, purchasing a new ship. So in this game, if we go to dock, we can see that we can go and purchase a new boat. And here we can purchase our Tier 3, Catherine. Yeah, so this ship actually has a refrigerator on it. We have side thrusters. We have so much more we can do and to store a ton of fish, which makes us tons of money. So let's get started then by uh, first going to the bank. We're going to need to take out a little bit of a loan to buy that one off. And I think what we'll probably want to do here is take out a uh, big O loan. We'll probably want to take out, like, what, maybe a million and a half? Or, uh, yeah, that should bring us up to about two million. But let's bring out the two million one hundred thousand, so that way we can get some extra spending cash for crew members and everything else. That is the biggest loan we can take out. So let's go buy our new ship and say goodbye to this one. We'll go right over to uh, ship. Oh, no, that's boat services. We're going to go to dock and then to ships. And we will buy ourselves the Catherine. There we are. Welcome aboard, Catherine. Due to the large volume of ship that can be uh, sh fish that can be stored on the uh, Vic B Catherine, you are now required to stack all fish before selling them. Stack fish must be gutted first, and also can optionally be frozen. You will need one crew member to stack fish for you. All right, let's dismiss then. Okay, I think we kept our staff from before. We'll see if Ruth stayed with us. Uh, looks like uh, I'm not sure if we have. Oh yes, we do. Ruth, excellent. She's a good old crew member that's been with us. Probably not the best, but she can learn. And Karen Hamilton. Yet another uh, good skilled uh, person here. I think the uh, stacking one here is the um, I've, I've, oh the stapling. So stacking is uh, is the uh, thing we're looking for here uh, to be best. And I think Kerry Johansson is probably going to be our best uh, bet here for stacking. I think that's what that means in German. So again, when the game releases, it will not be in just uh, Norwegian or Swedish or German. It'll be available in all languages. So right now, the press version is just in German. So bear with me. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can rename it. Uh, we have some insurance for if we need to... Uh, well, there's some rescue services per year, a few other things here. Let's see what we can do to upgrade the ship. Let's go to dock, and let's go to upgrades. We can change the name of the ship, so we definitely got to rename this one. We got to call this one uh, Daddy Dino. That's what we're going to name this one, Daddy Dino, because this is this getting a little bigger. There we go. Daddy Dino is ready to rock. What color do we paint it? Uh, we could do... Oh, let's do it all in capitals. There we go. The Daddy Dino. That's top tier. That's classy. All right, very good. We'll go with that. And uh, we can upgrade some of our storage. We should probably do that because we know for sure we make a lot of money off fish and we always seem to run out immediately. We can upgrade our uh, radar. Ah, <clears throat> here we go. This is, uh, what is this exactly? I think this might be a automatic gutting machine. All right, let's get that because I always seem to be burning it on that one. We're going to switch to netting. And we're also going to, uh, for 100000 buy ourselves a freezer. Your, uh, your crew members will be able to freeze gutted fish, which prevents the fish from decreasing value with time. Oh, very good. All right, let's go for that then. And we can also buy side thrusters too, but we don't have enough money at the moment for that. All right, let's buy ourselves some nets. Let's go uh, over to, uh, let's see, back to uh, fish market. And we will buy ourselves some nets here. So we don't have to buy the traditional uh, anymore. Oh, 2000 Yeah, we want big, big O nets for this one. Let's go with six to start with, and we'll start with, with just the six and see what happens. All right, so we should have two crew members with us now. We've got, um, <clears throat> maybe we should hire another one. Crew will get 10% of our profits. Maybe we should hire another person. Oh, he's, uh, oh, actually, uh, Karen's a very good cook. I don't know. Uh, oh, and she's really good at netting, too. Mm, let's hire another employee just, just for uh, purposes of having all the roles filled. And we should be good on all that. Okay, I think we're ready to leave dock, so let's head out of here. Um, I don't know if we want to upgrade anything else. Let's see if we can maybe upgrade a more powerful engine. Let's let's grab an engine, too, before we leave. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Mm, yep, 250000 Oh, darn, we just have a, we're just a little short, unfortunately. 
Uh, maybe we should upgrade our storage just so that way we don't run out. We can stay out at sea a lot longer. And we'll just, you know, we'll save what we got for now. All right, let's head out. Here we go. Oh, man, this is big. There she is, boys. Wow, that's wonderful. Listen to that engine purr. Woo, she's really taken off. All right, big daddy's leaving. Too bad I can't blow the horn. Okay, so in the time that I've been playing, I've been doing a lot of exploring, too. So you can see I've gone to a few other ports around and uh, really did some good job in uh, in exploring the map. Now, I don't know if this is an open sea uh, vessel yet, but it definitely is really cool. Let's take a look from first person. Wow, look at the interior of this bad boy. This ain't your daddy's fishing boat. Mm -mm, unless your daddy's going out on the high seas. Look at that, man. That is really cool. Wow, there's a place for the crew to hang out. And uh, how, how fast are we going? Do we... Uh, in fact, you can actually in engage with everything in the ship, too. So if you want to flip on lights, you can definitely turn on and off some of these things. Really cool that way. All right, let's go back outside. And let's turn on a few things just to see what they look like. And let's get the crew to work, too. Where's our crew? There we are. Ah, there we are. We have an auto gutter. That's wonderful. So we can have somebody hauling and then uh, somebody gutting and another person freezing and stacking at the same time, too. Um, so they have to be frozen before they can stack. It has to go in that order, it seems. So who's our best, uh, let's see, just so we know who's best at what. Alright, looks like Ruth is the best cook, but she's also very good at long line hauling, and also the machine. She's actually very good at the machine gutting, it seems. Uh, looks like both, uh, Kara and, uh, Ruth are good at that. And then Karen, very good at doing the nets. So I think we'll have, uh, Karen on nets. Uh, let's see, I think we'll put, oh, what's the, um... Uh, there's the refrigerator. Second to the bottom is the refrigeration. Looks like they're both good at that, so we'll mix around those other two. All right, we're heading at full speed, by the way. This is as fast as we can go with our uh, with our giant ship. Our other one could go like 20 knots, but absolutely gorgeous. Just just absolutely amazing. I look at how beautiful that is. Just an incredible game. Look at that. that like that that right there is just screen. Hold on. There we go. That, that's just beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. All right, let's go fishing. Let's go ahead and see where we can go for our first fish. And uh, we can do a lot more fishing than we ever could before because we have a lot extra capacity. So let's get started right away. We'll head right over here and start with our first little fishing adventure. We'll go here, 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 and then we'll just circle around since we have tons of capacity. All right, quick travels complete. Let's start looking for fishies. All right, turn on our sonar. And whenever you guys see some fish, that's when we're going to start dropping our line. So that's exactly what this button will do here is we can pick which net we want to go with. We'll go with 165 meter, and then we'll get started. Now we're about to enter this uh, circle here. So I'm just going to wait until we're almost towards the center. You'll see a lot of fish there, but what we're looking for is like 10 fish stacked on top of each other. We're looking for a big school of fish. We want to we get the best and most amount of fish that we can. It's going to be awesome. All right, keep an eye out. Almost there. Wow, actually, we're going really fast. I thought we could only do about 5 knots. 10 knots here. Eh, we don't want to go that fast yet. Want to make sure we can get the line out. Get ready. All right, let's keep an eye out. And again, we can always circle back to see uh, what other fish might be hiding around. It's not always perfect to go directly into the center. And we'll get ready to start to drop this first net in a second. And wait until you see some more fish. Should be at the center right about now. Hard to tell on the GPS. All right, let's go ahead and drop it and see what happens. There we go. All right, now all we got to do is keep the uh, ship level or straight, and we'll see what happens. So all the fish between here and there should get uh, netted. Ooh, look at that. We're actually seeing a lot of fish. Not too bad. I just need to keep this straight while I'm watching the sonar with you guys. Looking good. There's a lot of fish here. Not a huge stack, but definitely uh, enough to start on a good, uh, good day's fishing. All right, almost deployed. We need to go 165 meters. Oh, there's even more fish. This is good. I think we laid our line at uh, probably the right time. Our net's going down nicely. Net neutrality. <laughs> Look at all those fish. It's wonderful. All right, this is going to be big profits, boys. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and lay some more nets, and I will see you guys when we are ready to pick them up. Let's see how many fish we got. Again, we're going to go around the map a little bit to a few different places, so we will pick up all of our nets in just a second. Here we go. <coughs> Check it out. There's some whales. Look at They're right over there. They're actually showing up on the... Uh, well, they're not showing up on the radar. But look, there's a whole... What do you call them? A squad? A team? A tactical unit? Look at that. Wow. 
All right, I'm doing real good setting uh, traps or uh, nets and such, but I think the uh, these guys have eaten up most of the fish around here. You can see I've already got uh, four of them already put out on the map. I think we have, what, six in total, but we're going to leave these guys here. I'm going to lay the rest of them, but beautiful to see in this game. I wonder if you can see them out the way. Out the window, if you look. Oh, the the light's a little too bright. But yep, there goes the uh, there goes the whales. Wonder if we can bump into them or not. Well, we'll leave them alone. They're doing their own thing. So, all right, let's finish up the, the trap land. It's really cool. I've never seen whales before in the game. That's really nice. It's actually a little easier to see them with the sh yeah the light a little away from them. There we go. Cool. Nice find. All right, let's get her done. All right, folks, we're just finishing. Uh, when I'm when I'm I'm going to cut it off here for uh, terms of. Uh, laying nets because we've got two nets that are almost full nearby so I was gonna lay six but it looks like uh, we got to go grab the other one I've uh, traveled around a bit to look at all the other areas and it doesn't look like they were much plentiful aside from the ones near the harbor I've gone up north and south that's where we saw the whales up there so let's circle back to our uh, first area where we've laid our uh, traps and it looks like the the schools of fish are actually moving through so we might be able to zoom in there and drop another uh, that last net before we pick up so let's go ahead and there we go check that out all right, we're going to try to zoom by. I don't know if this will have any negative effect on that other net, but let's just go ahead and see if we can... Uh, I don't know if that will have any effect, but let, let's try it now because we're picking this one up. We'll see what happens. So, whoa there, Dino. Straighten her out. We're going to go ahead and lay this one, grab the other one, and uh, we'll see what happens. So let's start bringing in those lines. All right, we're almost done. Straighten her out a bit. Whoa, that was crazy. All right, now all we got to do is find the other uh, buoys and start picking up. I think I see right off the nose, I see one buoy over there. So we can start dragging our lines and let's get everybody on lines. All right, who did we say was going to do what? Right, Ruth, I think you're on net hall, right? Uh, what was what was her job? Uh, let's see, net hall. Oh, we want one of these two. All right, Kate, you're on net hall. Looks like we can do two people. I'll grab that one. And then machine gut. And then also, uh, let's see, Ruth, you can do the freezing. She's already got a coat on, so at least she's prepared. All right, so I see the uh, first buoy up ahead, just right there where my mouse is. Pretty hard to see, but it takes a little bit of a trained eye. So we'll see if dropping another net over there uh, is going to help or hurt us. I don't think it'll be a big deal because we're picking up another um, line here. Plus, they shouldn't be within, uh, I think, 100 meters of each other, so we should be okay. All right, boys, we're hauling our first net. Man, that thing is extra sensitive. I've been toying around with it for a little bit, but it looks like we got it. So the crew should be able to take care of it now while we're actually uh, in the uh, captain's seat. So let's take a look at what things are going on down there while we uh, kind of watch the crew do their thing. Again, we have this awesome cabin quarters here. This is super cool. So let's go down to the work deck, take a look at what's going on down there. Oh, there they go. All right, so you can see them loading them into the, uh, yep, there they go, into the bin through the net. Excellent work, ladies. Excellent work. Uh oh, something seems a little fishy. Oh, no. <laughs> it's going right through the thing there. Okay, now let's make sure we've got everyone on uh, station here. So he should be in the auto uh, gutting machine then. And uh, once we're done with that, we should be able to stack. Let me go back to our, uh, there we go, our ship menu here. So as soon as all fish are cut, or um, gutted, I guess, then we're going to uh, freeze them and then stack them. So then two people need to work on that as well. So we can only have a total of three crewmen. So, X, wow, look at that. Storage is already full off of one. Wow, we did a really good job. That was just one. We gotta get back to port then right away. Let's go ahead and see what happens then. All right, so the machine gutting's going on. Ladies, you're gonna be on stacking then. So, uh, or actually one one on freezing, and then as soon as freezing is done, then they can start stacking. So they're gonna be doing a lot of work here today. Let's go ahead and hop back down there and see what it looks like. Uh, oh, I always go that way. There we go. All right, close the cabin door. We can actually walk around the whole deck of the ship. That's really cool. Oh, there we go. All right, so he's uh, putting him into the gut auto gutter and then eventually into the freezer here, which I believe is where all this stuff goes. Can we look at some of this stuff? Oh, we go back up to the deck. Oh, that's cool. So we can go up and, and below deck, and I think this is where uh, everything is stored, and uh, <laughs> the lighting down here is really weird, but everyone's doing a good job. Look at this. It's like he's singing a sea chanty. Is it a boring job? Wow, I think he's blind. All right. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. All right, we're going to pick up the rest of our fish then and get back to work. Ladies, you're going to get on stacking. Let's get back out on the ocean, or at least let's roll. One thing I've noticed, folks, uh, now that we have a full stack of fish, is that uh, it's very difficult to actually line up with your net to get it on precisely. Uh, the other ships, you can be a little bit far off, but it seems like with some of these bigger ships, you got to be top dog. you got to be like, it's almost like landing on an aircraft carrier during a storm, something like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, zip up here again and see if we can now uh, load up all the fish in the uh, net haul 
and then see if we can stack them while we're also at port. So we should be able to grab maybe two at a time. I just need to be ultra precise with this, which is where those side thrusters are really going to uh, come in handy, I think, when we eventually get those. So as you see that little green bar below uh, their names too, by the way, that is their uh, their skill. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these guys back to rest for just a little bit until we're ready to link up with that buoy, and then we should be good to go. So we're going to go for one more haul, and let's see how the line... Let's see if we can land this thing like an air, aircraft carrier, like a pilot. I'm going to try to bring her down in speed. This is definitely not easy. Let's go ahead and see if we can turn our light on here. Our shining warfer. There we go. I don't even know where it's shining. There we go. Okay, there's the buoy. Let's go ahead and put our folks uh, out onto work on that. Try to get these two out there and you on the gut machine. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can link up now perfectly with this buoy. Man, if, if you were uh, the captain of this ship, you would need extremely precise driving. But more importantly, you're going to need your crew to be like uh, Johnny on the spot with uh, giving you radio commands, that type of thing. I think it's automatic. There we go. All right, much better than our first time for sure. So now we're holding the net in, so the crew should be able to uh, pull it right in uh, from end to end. So we can see that work again in action uh, from here. Uh, you can see them pulling in the net and then uh, putting them on the machine gut. Um, all right, the gunning machine is what it should say. Freezing and then stacking. We've got a full stack of fish. So let's see if we can actually get out and uh, take a look at that. Let's go out uh, this way here. There we go. I always forget where the door is. Oh, an airplane flying over. Where's an airplane? Oh, there it is. Wow, directly overhead. Hopefully it's not a dive bomber. Wow, look at that. All right, very cool. Let's head down to the work deck, and let's see how they're doing down here. All right, everything was looking good. I wish we could do some of this ourselves. We used to on the old boat. Now I just feel lazy. But now we're just driving around. But the ladies are doing a great job, and so is our uh, fellow over there. Fish coming in nice, going right into the gutting machine, and then eventually into the fish, uh, into the uh, refrigerator, and then the stacking uh, takes place too. Though I don't know where we can do that. Storage full, really? All right. Well, that's good. Actually, are we fully full for sure? Let's go ahead and check back to our ship here. And uh, oh, it looks like um, oh maybe uh, it cut it off because we're full here. Well, that's weird. Uh, I was thinking that perhaps we could put it... Yeah, because these haven't technically been stacked, so I was thinking we can get away with it, but I guess we can't. So let's head back to the dock now and uh, put everyone back on rest. So I guess we uh, didn't get all the fish from that one. So a good note for the future is to just go back and forth each time. But we still got plenty of nets left, and uh, the ones that are red are still likely to turn green. This one turning green here is eventually going to turn blue when we're ready. So it's, uh, let's see, it's almost 4, it's 4.35 now in the afternoon, uh, 16.36. Let's turn off that uh, main light there, work lights, everything can basically come off now. And uh, crew is sleeping, and we're heading back to port now. Very cool. Well, this ship's got some nice turning power, too. Very interesting looking boat. I didn't think she was seaworthy, but man, that's really cool. Really good. So we got a full stack of fish. I wonder how much money we're going to make from this. Let's go ahead and zip into the port, and then we're going to upgrade our ship as well. So let's get that done. I don't think we have any damage. Everyone's going to get full sleep in for the night. And uh, note to self, yes, yeah, so fish hull, I guess you can't have them on the... You can't have them stored before they're gutted. I guess it all comes down to stacking, which is weird. Maybe maybe we'd be overweight, but in my opinion, we should be able to store them on here, sell the stack, and then also do another machine gut, freeze them, and put them out again. I was trying to be double, double efficient on profits, but this is nice that we've got so much of the ocean ready to rock. And check that out. That next one is blue, so we better zip over there right away. Let's get to port, and let's do our upgrades. And let's go ahead and drop these off, and we'll head over and pick up the rest of those uh, nets. It's going to be fantastic. I'm excited to see how much money we're about to make here. Crew is resting up. Looks like they're uh, almost halfway there. That's pretty good. Not long until they've been halfway. Right, let's pull up here. And let's back her down on speed. This is a big beast. She doesn't stop on a dime like the other ship. And good. Let her float. Hold on just a second. Don't want to connect just yet. Let's try to park this one nicely. And we don't have our side thrusters yet either on this ship, so let's go ahead and dock here. We can just throw the lines and pull her in. All right, let's sell everything. Let's see how much money we make. Wow, 277000 That's pretty effective. That's uh, 100000 kroner more than what we made before, uh, both in, uh, in size of storage and also in freezing. So let's buy some upgrades too. Let's go to, uh, let's see, is this where we buy our upgrades? There we are. Go ahead and buy some upgrades. Fish storage is definitely going to have to be bigger. So let's go ahead and continue to increase that. We need much more storage on the ship. So we've maxed, up, maxed out on storage. Engine, I guess we'll have to upgrade that another time. But uh, all right, let's head back out to sea and uh, get some more. Let's uh, hmm, wait a minute. 
Actually, our crew needs a little bit of sleep, don't they? Let's have time pass by uh, before we bother our crew again. So let's go ahead and zip time forward. Let's give them like an eight hour, eight hour sleep here. Alright, there we go. Two in the morning now in Hammerfall in Norway. Or Hammerfest, sorry. I always call it Hammerfall. This just sounds sweet. Okay, let's take a look at the map. And unfortunately, because we had to rest, some of the uh, traps don't, don't go as well. But we've still got some that are blue. That's why we need that extra storage, that extra capacity. Very, very important. Oh, man. That next one's going to go green, too. So that's going to be really important for us. Let's uh, zip out of here. We really can't fast travel out of the port, unfortunately. So let's just try to do it the old-fashioned way, which is uh, by drive. Wait, have we cut our ties with the port? Yeah. Okay. So this is where those side thrusters would be very useful. Though I needed a little bit extra. Oh, really? We get damage from bumping into the, the harbor? Well, that's unfortunate. Just a little bump, I guess. There's plenty of tires there, though. Eh, one damage doesn't mean anything. It's all good. That'll buff right out. How's the crew? Excellent. Everybody's ready to work, too. All right, we'll put them on the job as soon as we get to the location. So let's skirt skirt out of here. There we go. Wow, this thing's got a nice turning radius, though. Turns a lot better than our other ships, even at full speed. Check that out. Very nice. All right, so we just need to get out of the port before we go into uh, fast mode again, unfortunately. So uh, let's take a look from here. Let's drive actually in first person and see truly how beautiful this... Uh, how do we uh, flip the switch here? Shine Orphan per position in... Oh, that's the one. Oops. Hold on, let's sit back down. Oh, God. Don't want to plow into anything. It's uh, E here, right? In in black tongue. There we go. All right. Learn in German a little bit. Easier to see without the interior lights on. Oh, there you go. The Wow, actually, the GPS works. The uh, fish sonar works. If you want to do it in first person, there you go. I don't think that's actually official, though. Very cool. Uh, do we have all of our lights on? Oh, there's our Scheinwerfer. Uh, wait. Scheinwerfer, there it is. Was oh, it two buttons or the same thing? Okay. Wait, we probably want to turn those on. Yeah, position lights are on. All right, very good. Absolutely beautiful. And it's raining out. What a gorgeous game. If you can't respect the gorgeous, beautiful terrain of Norway or just the simplicity of this game and how enjoyably rea relaxing it is, you got to understand that it's just, it really feels like Euro Truck or American Truck Simulator with a little bit of farming simulator. I mean, truly, you are trucking back and forth to go get the fish, and you kind of are farming fish. You're catching fish, but you know what I mean. You're actually, like, going to harvest them and, and load them up and process them for market just like you would any sort of crop, so that's really cool. That's one thing Farming Simulator truly needs, I think. That would be really enjoyable. All right. Well, folks, that is it for tonight's episode, so I really appreciate having you with me. When you see me next time, we're going to go ahead and live stream a little bit more of this ship. So if you want to see more of it, again, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button too. We'll go on to some more bigger commercial fishing vessels very soon. Trawlers are coming up next, and uh, bigger and better fishing is on the way. So I hope you enjoyed Daddy Dino here rolling out on the high seas, or at least the archipelago of Norway, and I will see you all next time, everyone. Thank you very much for joining and tuning in. Take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!